All right, welcome to part zero of our 22nd video with data structures and algorithms. And in this video, we're going to talk about red black trees. Uh, we're going to talk about some of their properties and some of the ways those properties can be violated and how we can fix them uh, and what red black trees are in the first place. So what are they? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we start off with binary search trees. Trees. Okay, that means that uh, every node, okay, has uh, at most two child nodes. Okay, uh, and they can be null, like you're seeing me do here. Okay, the other property is that every left child has a lesser key value than the parent, and every right child has a greater key than the parent. Right, or they're either, or they can be null. Okay. Uh, so an example of that would be something like this. So if we have one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and maybe five. Okay, this is a binary search tree right here. But this is also the issue, right? Is that when we end up with things like this, okay, this long line of nodes, okay, this is no better, uh, at least running time wise with respect to like searching and uh, inserting and things like that than a linked list, okay? So in an attempt to balance this tree out, right, to look more like this, uh, we have red black trees. There's also other trees, okay, just to note them. There's AVL trees and B trees and all kinds of trees, okay? But today we're going to talk about uh, red black trees. Okay, so what are some of the properties, right? Uh, well, uh, first of all, every node is either red or black. That's why it's called a red black tree. That's easy. Also, every nil node is a black node. Okay, we consider them to be a black node, and we also consider them to be significant. Okay, you'll see why in a minute. Okay, also, one of the balancing uh, properties is that every red node can only have two black child nodes, okay? Whether or not it's an actual node or it's a nil node, it's it has to be the color black, okay? So another way to put this is that a red node cannot have a child node that has the color red. There can't be two red nodes in a row. Uh, another balancing property is that every path from node X, okay, any node you pick, from that node down to a leaf node, okay, every single path from that node down to a leaf node has the same number of black nodes. You can count the same number of them down, okay? That's another way that we balance uh, this tree. Uh, and also, the root node is always a black node, okay? So, um, we can look at some of the violations, okay, through here. And most of them, uh, the ones that we're going to talk about are uh, violating the property where uh, a red node cannot have a red child node. Okay, and this comes about typically when you're uh, inserting. Okay, so let's say that we insert this node X. Okay, so this is, uh, let me just get another color. This is the node that we're interested in. Okay, right here. Uh, same thing over here, okay? So these two top ones is what we're looking at. And clearly there's a violation here, right? So, oops, wrong color. Let me just get this one. Okay, so we have this. This is violating, okay? Some of our properties. We cannot have, red node cannot have a red child node. So how do we fix this, right? Well, we have different cases, okay? And we look at these cases based on a couple of things. The first thing is the uncle node. Okay, or this Y that we have over here. So case one comes about when we have this kind of a violation and the uncle node is red. Okay, so that's a case one. Now to fix this, all we have to do is we change the color of these three nodes up here. Okay, uh, the parent, the grandparent, and the uncle. Okay, we change these colors. Good stuff, right? So when we do that, we end up uh, with something like this, right? 
and we have to check, okay, we have to keep going and check for more violations because we just changed the grandparent to a red node. Okay, and we don't know what's up here. Maybe there's a red node here. We have no idea, right? Maybe there's a black node and there's no violation, but we still have to check, okay? But other than that, case one is finished, okay? So remember that the uncle is red, is a case one, and you just change the colors of all three of these nodes. Okay, that's easy one. How about a case two? So a case two uh, has a couple of different properties. Uh, the first one is when you have this violation and the uncle node is a black node, okay? But uh, the other thing is that the violating node, if you will, this X, is a right child of a left child, or it's a left child of a right child, okay? I want to let that sink in for a second. But the idea is that it's on the inside of this little subtree, okay? The violating node is like on the inside of the little subtree, and the uncle node is black, okay? So how do we do this? Uh, well, all we have to do really is rotate around the parent node. Okay, so we just rotate this outwards and it turns this into a case three, which we'll get into, right? But when we rotate, uh, so what we're doing is you can kind of see down here, this X node, right? Comes up to be where the parent is and the parent goes down. Now we have to do something with this subtree here, right? This inner subtree on the violating node. So what we do is we pass it over to the parent, okay? So it become, comes to be right here, okay? Like this, okay? And that's all we do for a case two. We just turn it into a case three, which we'll talk about in just a second, okay? Uh, and that's it. Okay, so let's look at case three. So, uh, a case three uh, is where the uncle node is a black node, right? So X's uncle is the black node, just like the last time. But the difference is, you can kind of see it here, is that the violating node is a left, left child of a left child, or it's a right child of a right child, okay? It's on the outside this time of this little subtree, okay? And so what we do, is we rotate, okay, around the grandparent this time instead of the parent, okay, something like that. And we also have to change the color of the parent and the grandparent, okay? We change their color, we swap their colors. So uh, what does that look like? It looks like these ones down here. And remember that we have to, when we rotate around, uh, we have to hand off this inner subtree, right, to the node that's being rotated around. Okay, so the grandparent ends up getting that little subtree. Okay, we can see that. And uh, we can see here that the parent turned into a black node, right, in both cases. And the grandparent turned into a red node. Okay, as you can also see. So uh, take a minute and uh, kind of check these out. Uh, there's another part to this uh, video uh, with an example, and I'm also gonna do uh, another one uh, when I get the chance. Uh, we'll do another uh, example. So you'll have two examples of how this all works.